Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Louisville Cardinals and the Clemson Tigers. It's still early in the season, but these two ACC teams are ready to go. And here come the Tigers. The Cardinals are just hoping they don't get humiliated out there, in my opinion, Kirk. Clemson comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame. We're going to blow him out, Hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. I agree with you on this one. Hey, guys, I'm going with the Tigers. Clemson has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Vincent fields it in the end zone. Today we get to watch a very talented quarterback direct the offense. The head coach mentioned earlier in the week how important it is for him to have a good game. There's no doubt about it. He needs to play well today, but it's not going to be easy. He's going up against a very good set of corners. You can have the corners, Kirk. I'll take this quarterback in this matchup any day of the week. He's a proven leader, and he won't let his team down. Here's how this offense shapes up compared to the rest of the country. Ouch. Wow, these guys can't seem to get the ball down the field. Their offense better improve. They expect to win some games. He tosses it short, and it's incomplete. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. Third and six. Ball on their own 29. Louisville goes with the ace set here. Smith fakes a handoff. Rolling out to the right side. And it's caught. And he's stopped behind the line. Good to have the ball on there. Having ball control is important in football. And three it out is what you want to avoid for sure. The guards are lining up to punt it away. He gets it off. Moss calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 28. Great start so far as their defense forced the early punt. And now the offense gets a shot at putting the first points on the board. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. First and 10. Nickel defense steps up. He unloads it. Complete. And they make the stop. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 31-yard line. Mission comes to the line with three wide. Throws short. Someone got a hand on it. That could have easily been a turnover. Yeah, I don't even think the quarterback even saw that guy. Well, he almost saw him running the other direction with the football. Third down and seven. Ball on the 31. The Tigers have five receivers on this play. Throws this one out to the left. Got it. At the 40. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. It's not bad. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. 
The Tigers line up with four wideouts. Gets the ball. Oh, well, they faked it. Throws off his back foot. They'll drop him for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Loss of four on the play. Second down and 14. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tigers come out in the shotgun with the throw. Tackle. That's a seven yard gain. Seven yard gain on the play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The defense lines up with six DBs. He's looking. Rolls to the right. Deep ball, and he's got a man open. Incomplete. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. It's up. And it's off the upright. No good. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Smith lines up in the shotgun. Smith. Set to go to the air. He's going right. And it's caught. Brought down. That'll be a gain of three yards. Second and seven. Ball on the 39. The cards come out in a two tight end set. Throws it to the outside. Found his man. And he's taken down. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Louisville lines up in a shotgun set. Let's it go. Complete. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Two-yard loss. Look at how dominant they've been on defense. I'll tell you, as an offense, you've been pretty successful if you can even sniff the end zone against these guys. Whoa, they're one of the best in the country. Just look at those numbers. Wants to go long and does. That is ball. It falls incomplete. Guys, the pressure was intense, but he let it fly into the end zone anyway. Unfortunately, none of his receivers could get to the football. That's a great play by the defense to make him throw the ball before he wanted to. Third down and 12. Ball on the 37. Louisville comes to the line with three wide. Wants to throw outside. In and out of his hand. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. He punts this one high in the air. Harris signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, and that poor kicker has to wait on the sideline and hopes he gets a chance to redeem himself after that last miss. Bishop with four wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. He's going left. And he's shoved out of bounds. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. It's first and 10, ball on the 36 yard line. The Tigers come out of the ace formation. He jukes it. And that tackle's gonna save him six. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. 
When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and ten. Ball on the 45. The Tigers set up in the gun. Bishop will hand it off. They'll bring him down. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Gain of six on the play. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 39. He drops back. Rose. He's into the open field. That was a well-designed play. Yep, good execution there. Nice job of getting the first down on that pass. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Bishop comes to the line with three wide, over the middle, incomplete pass. He was looking for his running back, but the pass just sailed on him. So it's second and 10, ball on the 33. Bishop is back in the gun. Back to pass. He steps up, lets it fly, and it's caught. Brought down. Four yards gain. On the reception. Gain of four on the play. Third it's third down six. and six to go. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Bishop lines up in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. He tosses it short. Complete. There he goes. Excellent open field tackle. They're in the red zone. Clemson comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Throws this one out to the right. He's knocked out of bounds. Good job on the pass there. Yeah, let me tell you something. These passes are exactly what they need to put pressure on that defense. The Tigers line up with three wide. And he's tackled. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. Here. Man, I like this call. Spreading out the defense near the goal line. Good call. The halfback runs for four yards. They've got all the big boys in for this one. Drops back to pass. He lets it go, and it's caught. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. the gun. This tackle. Touchdown, Clemson. Nice play call, but yo, where's the linebacker? Coach, I don't think it would have mattered where the linebacker was. When you're this close to the end zone with a crafty veteran behind center, there's not much the defense can do. the PAT. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul.
Stewart looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number five fields it in the end zone. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. Now, Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. They'll set up shot at the 15. Louisville comes out with an eye formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. That close to being intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 15. The cards go with the eye formation, under pressure, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. What a play by the freshman linebacker. There's really nothing he could have done against a rush like that. He couldn't have done much, but I'll tell you one thing he could have done. He couldn't have thrown the ball away, Kirk. You know that. He could have thrown that ball away. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the seven-yard line. Smith with four wide receivers. Looking. He's going to air it long. And it's incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. The Cardinals are lining up to punt it away. Number 55 punts it, and it's a good one. Moss takes it at the 49. Bounds off the would-be tackler. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. They'll start this drive at the 37-yard line. Bishop lines up with the shotgun. Handoff up the middle. They'll drop him for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 38. Three wide outs here. And the snap goes to the back. They'll bring him down. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Tigers come out in the shotgun. Looks. Throws to the middle. His receiver has it. Brought down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He just played some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Looks like they're going to try to power this one in. Mark gets the carry. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. The Tigers come to the line with their jumbo package. Like that. Give the ball to the big fella, and the big hoss makes his way into the end zone. When this guy starts rumbling, you better get out of his way, or he's going to leave cleat marks on your chest. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac.
looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. Number five fields it in the end zone. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll go to work at the 17-yard line. The Cardinals go with the I formation. Fullback straight ahead. And down he goes. And the fullback busts through for about seven yards. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 24-yard line. Louisville comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Off. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The halfback couldn't get any running room. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. He went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. It's third down and four to go. Ball in the 23. Louisville lines up in a double tight set. Smith drops back. Short draw. Complete. Green with a takedown. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination again. First and ten, ball on the 29. Louisville sets up with four receivers. Throw short, and it's caught. Tackle. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. One yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The cards come out in the shotgun. Throws. Off his hands and incomplete. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Louisville comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Over the middle. And he's tackled. Nice catch. But that's not going to move the chain. Louisville ready to put this one away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Mark takes it at the 20. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll take over at the 20. Bishop comes to the line with three wide. Henry, the ball carrier, and they make the stop. Four-yard gain by the back. Gain of four on the play. Second and six. Ball on the 24. From the gun, Henry on the give. And he's drilled. Three-yard gain by the running back. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 27. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Bishop with the play fake. Short toss. Complete. That's how you convert on third down. This defense had to be expecting pass. I know that. It doesn't matter, though. It's not enough to know that they were passing. you got to know their tendencies, too. First and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Nickel defense. Bishop drops back to pass. And it's caught. Still on his feet. And he's shoved out of bounds. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. And if anyone can make a play on defense, it's the defensive end down there. 
Swings it out to his man on the screen. And he is drilled. Clemson calls a timeout. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 45. Bishop lines up with five wide out. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. He wants it all going long. It's deflected. It falls incomplete. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looking. He's going to go for the home run. Incomplete pass. Not a pretty pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. That was not a good pass at all. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. They line up to punt this one away. Number 81 punts it, and it's a good one. Vincent calls for the fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 25. The cards line up with four wideouts. Smith steps back to pass. He tosses it short, and they make the stop. Louisville takes a timeout. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 27. The guards come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He'll dump this one off. And he's tackled. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brad. I don't know what the quarterback saw, but hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Cardinal come out in a two-tight end set, setting up the play action. He breaks free. Got it to him on the run. Down the sideline. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line. Louisville calls a timeout. First and 10, ball on the 27. Smith with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. Tackle. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Maybe a few, but that's it. I like what the coach is doing here with this hurry up offense. Watch for this young defense to get a little confused on this play. The Cardinals line up with two tight ends. Again with a carry. And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. The guards come out in the ace formation. Matthew, the ball carrier, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Louisville takes a timeout. Number 36 into attempt the short field goal. The kick is up. And it's right down the middle.
folks. Let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Clemson 14, Louisville 3. Louisville will be kicking off to start the second half. He hits a booming kick. Strickland fields it in the end zone. Shake and bake move. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. Get the ball here at the 22. First and 10. They'll work from the shotgun. Steps up. Throws this one out to the right. And it's incomplete. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Second and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Tigers come out the shotgun, throws it to the outside. Cody lays it on him. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. They come out with four wide out. He steps up. He's going left. He's on the run. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right, and the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Second and one. Ball right around midfield. Clemson goes with the ace set here. Looks, throws this one out to the right. Incomplete. Oh, come on. Give the receiver a chance to catch it. I think he tried to, Coach. No, he tried to impress everybody by throwing it as hard as he could. Third down and a yard. Ball right around midfield. Ace backfield. Makes a move. Smith brings him down. And they get a nice gain on third down. Remember when we talked to the coach? He mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense, and he felt that he may have some success. Well, they had some success on that play. First and 10, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Moss is in the zone and looking to make something happen. His receiver has it. They'll bring him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. The defense lines up with six DBs. He's looking. Here they come. Throws this one out to the left. Brought down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. Clemson comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Juke move, tackle. A two yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. Right. On the 11 eight. going in. Ball on the 11-yard line. Clemson lines up with a shotgun set. Throws. He spins around. Cunningham with a takedown. They go to the air and pick up a couple. Gain of two on the play.
Clemson sets up with four receivers. To the end zone. Got his man. Touchdown. That pass found the wide receiver for six. And I think the quarterback has found a soft spot in this defense. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac, fuel for the soul. Clemson lines up for the kickoff. Vincent and number five back ready to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Vincent fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 25. The Cardinals come out in the ace formation. away with a sack. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now and coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to spin the screen pass in the head. Let him get behind the rest and then take off behind his blockers for six. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 18. Louisville sets up in the eye. Smith drops to throw. He'll dump this one off. It's tipped. And the safety got a hand out at that time. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. The cards come out showing three wide. Smith set to go to the air. He's going left. Off his hands and incomplete. Dropped by the wideout. They line up to punt this one away. He punts it. Moss takes it at the 43. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. A great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? They'll take over at the 47. Bishop is back in the gun. It's a direct snap. He has some room. Cody brings him down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Bishop lines up with five wide out. Looking, wants to throw outside. Gets past the tackler, and he's tackled. What do you think of that catch, Coach? This game's got its highs and lows, but one of the highs has got to be the play of this kid. He could play for my team any day. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24. Clemson lines up for the shotgun set. Looks. Short toss. Complete. They'll bring him down. 
And the completion nets some very little yardage. Coach, what's up with that ploy? I'll tell you, those defenders crashed in and got him in a hurry. No chance to get anything there. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Nickel defense. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. He goes downtown. Hauls it in for the touchdown. Do they have that defense guessing now or what? I mean, did you see how well the quarterback hid the ball? Yeah, some quarterbacks are just so good at selling the play action. It's truly an overlooked skill. You take my friend Kirk here, for example. He wasn't known for his speed, but boy, he could do a good play fake. Are you calling me slow? This is coming from a guy whose nickname is based on his foot speed. Isn't that right, Scooter? Yeah, left out sunshine. It's sunshine, Scooter, sweetheart. And he hits the PAT. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive summary. like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it deep. Number five, fields it in the end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to go off the back and shut them down again right here. They'll go to work at the 25. Smith is in the zone and looking to make a play. Any thoughts on why they've had such an off day? Oh, it's been all about making mental mistakes out there, and that interception was another perfect example. Excellent field position to start the drive. Defense lines up with six DB. Rolls right, looking to the end zone. Brings it in, touchdown. What an impressive call. I could hear the defense yelling run all the way up here. Boy, did they fall for that one or what? Tacks on the extra point. So with just over three minutes remaining in the third quarter, our score, Clemson 35, Louisville 3. Clemson to kick. Distance. Vincent fields it in the end zone. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They didn't have the ball. Before. Exactly. He was three out so fast they had to have the slow ball replay to recap it. They'll, They'll get the ball here at the 20. Louisville comes out with an eye formation. Smith back to pass. He's drilled as he throws. Sheds a tackler. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of poise and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit, but he hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. Right. 
It's second down and two to go. Ball in the 28. Two tight ends here. Smith back to throw, and he dropped it. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. He just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Third and two coming up here. Ball on their own 28. The cards go with the I formation. Smith will throw for it. He passes it, and it's caught. And he's shoved out of bounds, and they'll lose a yard there. One yard loss on the play. Looks like they're gonna punt it away here. Number 55 gets it off. Moss fields it the 31. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 39 yard line. First and 10. Clemson lines up for the shotgun set. Looks, wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. He let his half back too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. Second and 10. Ball on the 39 yard line. Clemson comes out of the shotgun. He's looking. Short toss. And it falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 39. Clemson lines up in the shotgun set. He's going right. And it's a true freshman. Three and out. Yeah, the defense did a great job of winning that series. The Tigers are lining up to punt it away. He gets it off. Vincent takes it to 14. Broke away from one. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 16. Louisville lines up in a double tight set. They'll bring him down. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 19. Smith comes to the line with three wide. Throws. Strickland with a takedown. Nothing gained on the play. No gain on the play. As we go to the final quarter of play, this one is almost wrapped up. Our score here, Clemson 35, Louisville 3. Third down and seven, ball on the 19-yard line. Guard with four receivers, looking, steps up, across the middle, complete, and he's hit hard. The offense has had one heck of a time getting the ball down the field. Well, this hard-nosed defense is creating a lot of problems for these kids. They're pretty much shutting them down. The Cardinals line up in an I formation, rolling out to the left side. He lobs it out to the left side, and down he goes. About three yards on the play fake. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 32. The defense lines up with six DB. Looks, he's going left. 
And that one's fallen incomplete. And that one will go down as an incompletion. It's too bad because the wide receiver made a super effort to catch that pass. Yeah, Coach, he's got the ability to come up with that circus catch. I want that kid on my team. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The cards with four receivers. The snap goes to the back. Don't know why they ran on third and long when they're behind. Hey, coaches, let your players put on an aerial show. Now is the time. Louisville, ready to put this one away. Number 55 gets it off. Number 11 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 26-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 26. At the 26-yard line, first and 10. The Tiger line up with four wide out. Short toss. And he caught. Flynn brings him down. They tried a little play fake that time and got maybe a yard. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 27 yard line. Williams lines up in the shotgun. And the snap goes to the back. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on their own 25. The defense lines up with six DBs. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. Throws it out there. It falls incomplete. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. You talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. The Tiger line up the punt. Number 81 gets it off. Vincent takes it at the 33. Fumble, loose ball. Gibson recovers a loose ball. First and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. The Tiger come out of the ace formation. Williams drops back on first down. Buchanan with a takedown. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 36. Clemson comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He's looking for his man. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Williams comes to the line with three wide. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete. Whoa! That was a bullet. A bullet that landed incomplete. I don't care. That was some impressive arm strength. Stewart lines up for a long field goal, and I'm not sure he's got the power to make this one. The kick is up. It's got the distance. Here's the Pontiac Drive Summary, bringing you fuel for the soul.
They'll set up shot at the 20. They line up in an eye. Setting up the play action. He tosses it short. Has his pullback. And he's tackled. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31. Smith is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Complete. Peyton brings him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on their own 44. The Cardinals line up in an eye formation. There's a play fake. He's going right. Caught. Jordan with a takedown. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Two tight ends here. They'll throw on first down. Throws down the middle with the interception. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. You got that one right. Any time he gets his little big guy looking to knock his head off, his brain is telling him one thing, just throw it. He did, Lee. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team. First and 10. Ball on the 15. First and 10. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Hand off up the middle. Jackson brings him down. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Gary with a takedown. Zero yards on that play. Third and four. Ball on their own 21. One man backfield. Williams hands it off. Jackson brings him down. Nice defensive stand there. And some good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. They line up to punt this one away. Punts the ball away. Vincent fields it for 38. And he's drilled. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll start this drive at the 44-yard line. They're going to give the backup quarterback some playing time in this blowout. Play action. He'll dump this one off. And it falls incomplete. Second and ten. Ball of their own 44. The cards set up in the gun. Going left. Incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. Bishop, the intended receiver on the play. Great. 
It's third down and 10. Ball on the 44 yard line. The Cardinals line up with four wideouts. He might not be able to get the pass off. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 55 gets it off. Number 11 takes it at the 21, and he's hit hard. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. He jukes, and he's tackled. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. They come out at a nickel. gotten back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Third and eight. Ball on the 27. The Tigers line up in a goal line formation. Zero first downs, not what they had in mind. Well, this defense looks very impressive right now. They suffocated the offense. That go around. And that's the end of the ball game. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. Clemson played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2006. And again, our final score on this one, Clemson 38, Louisville 3. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.